So let's say you're the groundskeeper at a magic-based boarding school and you're trying to smuggle a dragon out of a castle. Two out there? Okay, you're the captain of a Klingon vessel and you need to travel through a sector undetected. How would you do it? If you said some kind of invisibility cloak, that would probably work. Unfortunately, there's no such thing outside of Harry Potter in Star Trek. At least not yet. It's true we can't hide people or dragons or spaceships from sight, but in the last decade, scientists have come up with amazing new materials and clever uses of existing ones that could one day let objects or even people hide in plain sight. When people talk about an invisibility cloak or a cloaking device, they're actually talking about a range of ways to achieve the same goal. That goal is making it hard or impossible to see an object. Seeing something requires light. By the way, 2015 just happens to be the International Year of Light. When light bounces off an object and hits your eyeball, your brain interprets color, brightness, and other variables to represent what we think of as sight. The easiest way to make something invisible is to disrupt that sequence of events. Stealth technology used on planes and ships does something similar by absorbing energy from radar. Like visible light, radar bounces energy off an object to see it. If no light comes back, the object doesn't show up on radar. You can kind of do that with visible light too. Black objects reflect very little light. Unfortunately, our brains have already figured that trick out, so you can't just put whatever you're trying to hide behind something black. Instead, some of the most promising invisibility research helps light avoid an object altogether. In 2006, researchers at Duke University first described something called a metamaterial. Metamaterials direct light around an object. The material could capture light coming in from one direction, channel it around the object, and spit it out 180 degrees from the direction it came in. The object in the middle would disappear to the observer. They're called metamaterials because their man-made structures let them affect light in ways normal materials can't. Some are made with super thin wires of silver and silica. Other invisibility devices are made with carbon fibers or even silk. But before you get too excited, yes, I can still see you if you're wearing a kimono. Researchers have figured out how to disguise larger objects, and they say they're getting closer to making cloaks that would work with visible light. But metamaterials aren't the only way to make something invisible. Scientists at the University of Rochester arranged four standard glass lenses, so they created a region of invisibility too. It doesn't have quite the same potential as metamaterials, but the researchers behind the technology say it could help doctors what? see through their fingers when they're doing surgery, or let drivers see what's in their blind spots. Maybe they could figure out a way to make the selfie stick invisible, so you don't have to be seen with a selfie stick. One more way to be invisible? Instead of bending light around an object, just mimic it on the other side. It's the same way some animals like cephalopods and chameleons camouflage themselves by changing the color of their skin to match what's around them. Video cameras and screens can recreate this active camouflage technique, which militaries are particularly interested in. The British defense contractor BAE came up with a system like that for tanks, and they say it could be ready for use in just a few years. Thanks to ACS Photonics for making this video possible, and thanks to you for watching. Check out other videos about light and learn about how putting away your smartphone could help you see better, or how scientists see atoms. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more delightful videos every week. See what I did there? The International Year of Light is a global initiative to highlight the importance of light and light-based technologies in people's lives. To learn more, check out light2015.org. And thanks again for watching.